Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another of one of my segments of what I'm liking and not so much. And as well, I do have a special guest, somebody who's collabing with me. So if you guys would like to see my likes and maybe my not likes and also hear who's joining me to this time, keep on watching. Okay guys, so today I have joining me is Glebo Girl Joelle. She definitely is totally a makeup addict, just like me and quite a few of us. Uh, she does beautiful, beautiful tutorials. She does really great eye looks. She she really does. I really enjoy watching them. She has the see these beautiful, pretty eyes. There's so many people in here that have these vivid eyes that just, you know, you connect right to when they're talking it's like you just you know you can't stop looking at their eyes and then when she's doing an eye look at itself yeah i know she loves to do her hauls she just all all beauty related totally all beauty related so i am going to put a link down below to her video please go check her out show her some love maybe subscribe and give her some thumbs up and everything so yeah let's get started on what i'm liking and maybe a not so much I just purchased this not too long ago and I really like the caress line for in my shower. There's another one I can't remember. It's peach and something else. Well, this one has with white flowers and almond uh, oil in it. It's one of their newer ones. It just smells. Mm, it smells really good. I really enjoy the caress line for the shower. It's like the scent stays with you for a good while it doesn't overpower if you put a perfume uh scent on or body spray or something but it just does stick with you for a good while the other one i like i can't remember the name of it but it gives me this fresh clean uh scent and i really 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 like that a lot another thing i really enjoy and it is more of one that i pull out during this time of the year because this time of the year i feel Feel like scents for me is like a warm vanilla you know warm scents vanilla scents and this is the cashmere glow ultra shea body cream now i like the body creams from uh bath and body works i really like their body the uh these creams better with the shea butter the other ones are not bad the moisturizers but i just find these are very more um hydrating for the skin and so i really like them and the cashmere glow now if i'm not mistaken i'll have to double check i feel like i i feel like i should never say what scent i love from bath and body works because i have a hard time finding scents that i really do enjoy from them i'm just going to be honest i really do i don't mind some of them some of them smell good it's not that they don't it's just something i don't particularly want to wear on my body like i i'm not a person that really wants to smell like an apple or fruit scents like that kind of stuff when you hear it but you know sometimes some scents can work out pretty good there was one that had pear mixed in with it and it, and it turned out pretty nice but this one's a warm nice warm uh warm scent vanilla musk scent maybe i love the cashmere glow and from what i understand it is discontinued and that's what i was saying i guess i didn't quite fully say it but a lot of products i'll end up saying from bath and body works i love the scent and then it's like it's gone and it goes it goes away and it's discontinued it's like they almost hear like hey psh, Lori likes this scent so we gotta discontinue it like I'm gonna buy it out I don't know it's just so funny I noticed that with a lot of scents for me and how the body works like <sighs> really like you're taking that away from me but repurchase I got and I talked about this a lot the packaging just looks different but the Queen Helene oatmeal and honey scrub it's just a different packaging now they have i get mine in sally beauty supply a lot of times and that's where i get a lot of my queen helene products but love this stuff i can't say enough about it if you have dry skin you will love this i don't know about oily skin but dry skin for sure you will love this stuff so, uh two little samples here i have that i've got to try i don't have a full size but i'm liking i liked them and now i'm kind of thinking about purchasing them but the one i know there's a cheaper alternative and i might try that first because i'm just curious but this is a little sample of uh skin incorporated is that how you say it i think 
see on the top there, skin ink or something. It's a pure revival peel. It's a pure uh, peeling. It, it's like a gel. It's like one of them gels where you massage it all on your skin and then dead skin comes off. I looked online. I think this was like around 50, 50 some dollars or something like that. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of steep. But it was really nice. And I think Michelle Fawn had given this a heads up or really likes it. And then uh, Tatcha, I know her line is well known, getting known out there. Very pricey brand. I have to say it is a very pricey brand. It's like when I shared in my uh, last video that luxury brand Gold Elements is it is a very luxury brand. When it's when I'm saying luxury, we're talking like if you know La Mer and the prices of La Mer, that's kind of the luxury line that the Gold Elements is. However, I am liking them, but however, I'm holding off on doing a review yet because there is some uh, concerns about gold and skincare. I have some people brought some to my attention, and so I just want to make sure I look into it further and kind of give my thoughts and understand it more. So I'm hoping I can do that, but that's something upcoming as well. Tatcha is uh, kind of pricey also, but her stuff is pretty good that what I've tried of samples. Uh, it was like a cleansing uh, oil I tried. I kind of did really like that. Indigo Smoothing Triple Recovering Cream. Uh, honestly, I am so tempted. I would like to get this. I, I mm, It was really nice. Okay, on to makeup. I've been using my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This primer here is a really good drugstore primer. I feel it does help my pores to make them not so noticeable and my makeup does end up looking a lot more smoother. It is very silicone based so you can feel the slickness of the silicone in it. However, I haven't had really any problems with it. I think the only scent thing is the scent's a little bit strong um, but there is tea tree oil in here. And a lot of times tea tree oil in products can make that stronger scent. So from what I understand, that's in here. The e.l.f. primers, highly say check those out. With primers, um, you know, we put our foundation on after the primer. And these two products here both have been a flop for me, both of these. I talked about my one hair product, my mousse, and I noticed it worked for me after I did a little bit of change up and everything. I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back to these two foundations, give them a go, see what I think, and, you know, just, just go from there. The one is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation, which I gave, it was a flop for me. And then this one here, the CoverGirl Olay Facelift Perfect Firming <laughs> Firming Foundation. It comes in a jar like this. It's a CoverGirl one. And this one I think I got in an influencer. And this one I did purchase. But when I put this one on, I didn't like it. It made my face look really dry. It, looked, it just looked horrible. Lo and behold, <laughs> I put it on and it looked really good. It worked really good for me. I actually liked it. So this goes for me to show that, you know, yeah, see, if you try a product and it doesn't work out for you and then later try it because you changed up your skincare, make, whatever you did, uh, sometimes, yeah, that, that can be the big key of why the foundation didn't work. I'm going to tell you that the, you know, Dream Velvet works for me now with my whole skincare thing that I've been doing. However, I have this on today and I'm feeling pretty itchy and I don't normally like a lot of CoverGirl foundations. They don't normally work too well for me. My skin doesn't seem to like them. There's two that I do have that has worked for me. The CoverGirl Olay Facelift Effect one, it's still like I gave it a flop back then and, and didn't like it and I'm still going to give it. I mean, coverage doesn't look too bad. It is more of a like mousse substance, kind of like the other one too. This this one reminded me a lot of the Revlon Color Stay. Only the Col Revlon Color Stay always worked good for me. This one, I, yeah, I'm kind of feeling like I'm itchy, and I was fine until when I put this on. And so, mm, yeah, still, yeah, this is going to be a definite not like. Um, I don't know what video I think it was when I was talking about my favorite drug or my 
my favorite high-end brands. And I was sharing about Laura Geller, and this is the Blush and Bright and Pink Grapefruit. I shared this in there, and then I was like, you know what? I need to pull this baby back out. You might be able to see the coloring better. Love this blush. This is one of my favorites. Um, it's one of her top popular blushes is the pink grapefruit that's a really pretty color so i've been really liking that and pull that back out after i did that video i was like yeah i need to pull out more of my laura geller blushes because i think i'll have the video up before this because I, I shared my thoughts on the uh, master palette by mario the anastasia one i've been using this palette a lot last couple times already and oh just yeah the eyeshadows work as good as what, whoops, the heck is my brush? The eyeshadows work as good as what to be expected from the Anastasia line. I just, I love them. That is what I have on my eyes again today. And I just love it. And it does look really good for now, you know, like the fall and winter kind of look. And it is just basic neutral, neutral shade. I, it gorgeous, just gorgeous palette. I don't know if you still, I'll put a link down below where you can still get it at, if it's still available. I know some people are having a hard time getting it because it's been selling out that fast. So I'll put a link to the uh, video of the review and everything down below too. We went into Sally Beauty Supply and I thought, yeah, I'll just go and look around and see what's going on. And I picked up that mask. I showed you the honey oatmeal mask. And then I picked up another mask. It had some ginseng in it and I thought I'll try it out. It's like one of the sheet masks. I was just curious to see what that one was like. And I came across and was looking around and seeing this palette here. And I thought, oh my God, that looks like similar to the Anastasia palette, the highlighters and everything. Now I don't know which one because I don't have any of them. I wanted to get one, but that's what this reminded me of. And the company, it says Real Colors on top is the name of the company on there. It says Real Colors, sorry for all the glare. And then it has a strobing, strobing palette. And that is kind of what some of the shine you see. It does give, I have to say, it does give off a glow for sure. Here are your colors in there. Now, they do feel somewhat stiff. They don't feel real buttery or anything like that. I do believe I paid $7.99 or $8.99 for this in Sally Beauty. Now, there was only like several left, but I thought, yes, I wanted to try them out and pick them up. Now, I have these two shades I mixed together on the bottom right here. And then these ones more bronzy shades. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the colors. This first one here, which like I said, they're not real. You can feel the stiffness somewhat to them, but there's the first one. Very, They're really pigmented. Here's the uh, other one that is on the bottom there. This one on my finger has more of a peach tone. This one has more of a, but an off-white um, shade and they are powdery but they still look at that that is insane so yeah this one's the first one's more of the one that I said is like an off-white it's not totally white it's more of an off-white color like a white gold maybe and then this one's more of a peach shade to it so you can see the blingage come from that. And then here's the two bronzy shades. We'll go ahead and swatch this one on the top first. And then this one over here. So there's those ones there. This one, as you can see, doesn't have as much highlighting going on as the other one does. Okay, can you see that on the hand there? You can see the other one definitely has the bronzy goldness to it. But this one here, has this very, it's a duochrome, you can see it. it's very faint though, but it would be faint enough if you want just something, you know, not too intense. Really, I really like the palette. 
All right, beauty. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And do not forget to go and check out uh, Gleemo Girl, Joelle. I will have the link down below to her video. So please go check her out and show her some love. And also, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. I really appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come join me each week. I do have a video up at least every week on here or more sometimes. So yeah, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.